get this record of right right around for you. Right, this is uh, the other side of this London Library of Recorded uh, English Record, uh, produced, uh, as I say, mid to late 1950s, on a 12-inch 78 RPM shellac record. And uh, the tracks on this one are It Freezes All Across the Soundless Sky by Hilaire Belloc, read by Felix Aylmer, The Darkling Thrush by Thomas Hardy, read by Jill Balkan, uh, At a Lunar Eclipse by Thomas Hardy, read again by Felix Aylmer. It freezes all across a soundless sky. The birds go home. The governing dark's begun. The steadfast dark that waits not for a sun. The ultimate dark wherein the race shall die. Death, with his evil finger to his lip, leers in at human windows, turning spy to learn the country where his rule shall lie when he assumes perpetual generalship. The undefeated enemy, the chill that shall benumb the voiceful earth at last, is master of our moment and has bound the furious wind itself. There is no sound. It freezes. Every friendly stream is fast. It freezes. And the graven twigs are still. I leant upon a coppice gate when frost was spectre grey and winter's dregs made desolate the weakening eye of day. The tangled vine stems scored the sky like strings of broken lyres and all mankind that haunted nigh had sought their household fires. The land's sharp features seemed to be the century's corpse outlent, his crypt the cloudy canopy, the wind his death lament. The ancient pulse of germ and birth was shrunken hard and dry, and every spirit upon earth seemed fervorless as I. At once a voice arose among the bleak twigs overhead in a full-hearted evensong of joy illimited. An aged thrush frail, gaunt and small, in blast beruffled plume, had chosen thus to fling his soul upon the growing gloom. So little cause for carolings of such ecstatic sound was written on terrestrial things afar or nigh around, that I could think that trembled through his happy goodnight air some blessed hope whereof he knew, and I was unaware. Thy shadow earth, from pole to central sea, now steals along upon the moon's weak shine, in even monochrome and curving line of imperturbable serenity. How shall I link such sun-cast symmetry with the torn, troubled form I know as thine? That profile passes as a crown divine with continents of moil and misery. And can immense mortality but throw so small a shade and heaven's high human scheme be hemmed within the coasts your heart implies. Is such the stellar gauge of earthly gold, nation at war with nation, brains the team, hero, and women fairer than the skies. 